What's going on, virtual aviators? So they finally implemented a few quality of life change. Well, I guess they're not really quality of life. New mechanics that I've been waiting for that the game desperately needed. They finally added where if you unlock top tier in a nation, you get bonus research to other nations. The only problem is they made it so you only get bonus research for five matches and it kind of sucks. But hey, I'll take it because I've been holding off finishing the SMT pretty much waiting for this mechanic. And the other thing is you go here not here. If you go here, air realistic, you go to the game mode settings, you can select this. Smaller team sizes. You can read all of that if you want. Pause it and read it. Yeah, instead of 16v16, it could be 12v12 or less, but it's most likely going to be 12v12, which isn't that much better, but it's better. So I'm happy about that. So yeah, uh, we're going to jump in, see how my first random battle goes after not playing and freaking for ever i haven't played a random battle in so long let's see how it goes watch it being up tier so i have to fight active radar missiles Doodly do. Do I want one of each? We'll do that. Yeah. Oh, nice. All right. That is awesome. I didn't get up tiered. I got the tank, so we'll do 20, and here we go. Here goes nothing. So they should be somewhere right out front, right? Oh, there are going to be F-14 though. I think. Yeah. There we go. Jeez. So much for the smaller team sizes.
hit. Oh, I forgot I was still recording. That didn't go too bad. Dogfight could have gone better. Oh, and, uh, main point of this video, other than showing those new mechanics, I need a squadron. If you are the leader of a squadron, or you know the leader of a squadron, and you have an opening, uh, I really need to join a squadron so I can research squadron vehicles. That would be awesome. I'd appreciate that. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to do all that YouTube stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Later.